Hi Kickstarter Community. My name is Thomas Rutteratika. I'm the CEO and founder of Wart Analytics, and I will show you now what you will get when you support our uh, project, the High Watt Meter with Watt Analytics software. You will get this uh, package here delivered by post. Inside, you will find the installation manual. You find the iWatt meter here inside for the installation in your brakes compartment. In addition, you get four of those current transformers. They can be opened like this to clip them around a current wire. And you get um, this connection cable to connect the watt meter to the power supply, which if you are not an electrician, your electrician should do. This here is a micro model of a home, a little circuit breaker compartment with one uh, circuit breaker. And I will show you how the watt meter gets installed inside. I'll open it which you should only do if you are an electrician. Inside you can see that one of the current transformers is uh, clipped around the blue neutral wires, the other three around the wires for the three phases and the power supply of the watt meter is here connected with uh, the power supply from the system. Now let's check how this works. To do this, I will open the mobile app. After you have uh, bought, purchased the iWatt meter and have installed it, you need to register it. I will uh, skip across uh, this. I have this one already uh, registered. And I will now check the monitoring function if it's able to detect um, that I'm actually using power here. And you can see that it jumped to 8.1 watts right now after I have switched on one lamp um, on the uh, phase two, on the green phase. I will now switch on another lamp. The power consumption jumps to 35 watt. Uh, this one is connected to the blue phase, to L2. And I'll switch on the third one which is connected to L3, to the red face. Here we have some zoom functionality so that you can see your data in big detail. And now I want to come to the most important uh, function here. Switch off the lamps again to the training and recognition of individual devices. For this purpose, I'll switch to the training uh, tab of the mobile app. There we also see the previous power usages. I'll again turn one lamp on and we'll uh, see what happens. This is not known to the analyzer. It hasn't been uh, trained before. It's unknown. Uh, this one here. Is unknown as well and we'll do uh, now a training uh, session. We'll assign this to one of the device. I have entered here uh, the devices already uh, so I can assign it to this one as it's the halogen lamp on uh, L2. We'll switch it off and want to see if it comes again. After three times of such training actions, the analyzer shall recognize it uh, again. Two of them have been done before. We see uh, below uh, here on the yellow bar that there is uh, some good recognition already. And we can confirm, yes, that this has been recognized properly. 
and uh, this will give you the ability to uh, have to assign all the power usages of your home to the different uh, devices and then in the analyzer section of the app you can actually um, get the analysis of all the power usages that have happened. I will show you now a more real-world uh, example of uh, my home where this uh, analysis function looks like this. The recognition rate is in the last 24 hours on 71% as we can see it up here. I have used 14.04 kilowatt hours which cost me 2 euro 81 and uh, as I have trained my devices we can see here the water heater which used most of the power 32% the dishwasher with 10.7 another small water heater in the kitchen with another 8.9% the refrigerator with 5 and so on this is what you can do and uh, I hope you like our system and uh, will support it and together with us uh, save a lot of energy and help to slow down the climate change. Thanks a lot.